Hi, and welcome to the Get Started Fast with Avid Pro Tools S6 video series. My name is Gil Gowing, Pro Audio Solution Specialist for Avid. The S6 version 2.0 software update adds many new layout improvements, from consolidating the layout and track screens, saving and loading layouts, to new ways to create layouts. This video will go over these new enhancements. Several commands that were previously available only from within the layout mode are now accessible at all times from the track screen. This makes accessing and editing layouts much easier. The Layouts Assign switch is now available along with the previously available Select and Attention switches. Also now available on the Tracks page are the Recall, Edit, Save, and Load Layout switches. This allows you to perform layout-related actions without having to first enable Layout Mode. Access to the Store function is only available once in Layout Mode. There are several new methods for saving and storing layouts. First, in previous versions of S6 software, if you created or modified a layout but pressed Recall before storing it, a backup layout would be automatically created in the next available slot. In version 2.0, you can now specify to whether save the new arrangement to a new layout, save it to the current layout, or not create a backup at all. The switches for enabling layout mode and for soft keys recall of the layouts has changed. Having the assigned switch on the tracks page lets the layout switch on the master module bring up the currently loaded layouts onto the soft keys for recall without having to change what is on the master module screen. There are preferences that let you choose the left, right, or both master module soft key screens, as well as a preference to leave the layouts on the soft keys or exit back to the previous soft key screens once the layout has been chosen. To exit out of layout mode, press Shift plus Layouts. The layout store and recall grids have been redesigned. Instead of showing them in rows of eight, they now appear in columns of six down. This allows the grid to match the way the layouts appear on the soft keys. Along with saving layouts to titles, version 2.0 now allows you to save your layouts to a specified workstation in DAW. From the workstations page on the master module, attention the workstation you want to save the layouts to. Then, from the list of currently loaded Yukon applications, choose the one you want to save to. A star will appear by the name of the application that the layouts are being saved to. This can also be done from the soft keys. A warning will come up on the master module if you change to a new application or workstation. You can choose to OK or cancel the change. A note to users that are running a co-install of U-Control and Workstation Control. Make sure that your U-Control version is updated to 3.3 or higher as to prevent any layouts created with S3 or Artist Series controllers to be overwritten. There is a new Tracks page preference that allows you to create a layout based on the currently banked tracks. To do this, first make sure the preference is checked under the gear icon on the Tracks page. Then, arrange the tracks you want in the layout onto the surface. Once you have the tracks arranged the way you want them, double press the assign switch quickly and the tracks are now populated into a layout arrangement. From here, you can further customize the layout arrangement. When you are satisfied with the layout, press the store switch to bring up the grid to store the layout to. Name the layout and choose the grid location. Then press store to save the new layout. With version 2.0, changes have been made to streamline and speed up working with layouts. From consolidating the tracks and layout screens, how layouts are loaded and saved, as well as new ways to create layouts, working with layouts is now easier than before. Thanks for watching and let S6 inspire your creativity.